BoxingInLasVegas.com. Boxing in Las Vegas, and we got Vegas Runner with us, Chavez Martinez, and you love this fight. This Take is, it away. This is one of the most highly anticipated fights in a long time, and it seems like boxing's finally starting to get it because the UFC's putting pressure on them by giving fans the fights they want to see. And we're seeing two guys that are the number one and number should, two ranked middleweights. Who should I bet? You should bet Martinez till you run out of money. Now, I, I, here's the thing. Here's one of the rare times, and a lot of bettors, casual bettors, are going to say, how could there be value in a favorite like this, a minus 200 favorite. And the simple answer is that this true line should be closer to minus 400. I really believe that based on probability of winning for Chavez. I mean, I could talk about this forever on this fight, so the reasoning the main, behind the main, it. What's the main reason? Styles make fights. I know that's a cliche in boxing, but this is absolutely the worst style matchup for Chavez he, that he's faced in his career. And more importantly, Chavez has built a reputation as a bruiser, as a big guy, as a, a guy who outmuscles people. But if you really stop and dug into those, his records, 30 of his 32 knockouts had came at light middleweight. Since he's moved up to middleweight, he's only knocked out two guys in his past seven fights. And this is a huge step up in class. So he's not going to be able to outmuscle Martinez, number one, which is what most people in boxing are saying, that he's the much bigger man. He comes into the ring at 180. All right, so let's back up. So I'm a little confused. You're saying styles make fights. This is a bad style matchup. In what way is it a bad style matchup? Is it is it the size issue you're talking about, or is there some other style factor? Yeah, this is only the second southpaw that Chavez is fighting in his career. And uh, we've all watched 24-7 and how neither of these guys had a big amateur career. But unlike Martinez, Chavez really hasn't fought anyone. Every opponent has been handpicked. He's been protected since he turned pro, and why shouldn't he be? He's going to bring money that's to the why, promoters. That's why he's on 24-7. Exactly. He's Chavez's son. I mean, one of the best boxers of all time and the best boxer to ever come out of Mexico. So he's been protected throughout his entire career. And Larry Merchant said it best the other day. He said you could play basketball. And this is a great saying. You could play football. You could play baseball. But you can't play boxing. And the difference between what Martinez is and what Chavez is, Chavez is playing boxing. Martinez is a fighter. He, he was forced to fight. You know what I mean? One of those guys that come from humble beginnings, from poverty, they're fighters. Okay, so Chavez overrated. It's name recognition. Yeah, for sure. Protected. Number two, Southpaw. He doesn't have much experience against it. That's the style element. Any other factor? Chavez has never looked good against guys that have good movement, that could keep the fight from the outside. And that's Martinez's bread and butter. He's so good at creating distance and timing his opponents. I really think he's going to make Chavez look amateur in this fight. I think the line's going to go down once. All right, so let's do one comment Correct. at a time. Is So now you're saying there's another style element with the distance. And so now we've got three big advantages, and it's making sense to me. I'm not a boxing handicapper, but what I'm hearing is you've got a guy with a name, there's a premium on him, and he's still a 200, you know, a minus 200 dog, which is telling you they're saying, listen, we can't even make this an even fight, even though we know the public's going to want to bet it. Now that brings up, you know, on the Chavez side, that brings up one last point. There's a phenomenon with Vegas fights, especially where you get late money or, or money on fight day, fight day and night, on the dog. Because people that don't, that may be in town for the fight or they might be watching it on pay-per-view and they say, well, how do I bet the favor? Well, you gotta bet 200 to win 100. Well, I don't wanna do that, but you can bet 100 to win 160. Okay, give me, you know, give me $20 to win 32. So there, there's a lot of little bets on the dog come fight night. Now, at a certain point, the wise guys sometimes step in on the favorite and it moves back up. When does that usually happen? When would you say is the perfect time to bet this fight? An hour before this fight goes down. Because you got to so not the start of the card, an hour before right, this fight. Right, because unlike MMA, boxing fans usually don't show up until 
the main event or just for the co-main event. You know, they're not there all day, so there's time for them to bet. And fortunately, I get to go to these events covering the fight game for the game and today. So I've gone to the sports book so many times, and there's a line of people, and they're doing exactly what you said. They want to bet the favorite, and when they get explain to them that your 20 is only going to win you back a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, they say okay, and all of a sudden they they cheer in the dog. And that brings it down, offers more value. This sounds, you now let's talk about gaming today real quick. You actually cover UFC and boxing. Correct, time, yeah. And that's a paper that's distributed all through Nevada, really, but especially in Vegas, available in all sports books. Correct. Okay, excellent. All right, well, listen, we've talked it through. Let's make it official. Man versus boy. Chavez Martinez, take Martinez, lay the chalk with him. We also got an added bonus. Referee Tony Weeks, don't let fighters fight on the inside. That's the only way Chavez could do anything. I like Martinez in this fight to run away with it. You know, you can tell you've got a real passion for the I boxing. Love it. And that really is, and, and being with gaming today, and you get, what are you, like in the second row of these Always fights? right there, yeah. I tell, I'm going to have to come. If I buy a camera, can I come along? And you got to have the lens. They even That's say, where well, they yeah, want the yeah, big Yeah, and you light? get the lay on, say, on the mat. You'd have a better seat than me if you, had, if you were the camera guy. I wonder they if got I could it good. pull that off. They got it All good. All right, guys. Good stuff. This was our first batch of videos. We got a whole other batch, five or six more, coming up late Thursday. You can get all of them, pregame.tv.